Hey guys, um, welcome. This is Leila Kalan. Today we'll be doing our first video on a biochemistry topic and it's uh, gluconeogenesis. So our mnemonic is a bit of a long one because it's a big pathway. So please open packets properly before giving food. Now here you have two options. You can either go with in or go with to. You can either go with gatherings or with guests. So please open packets properly before giving food in gatherings or giving food to guests. Now I'll tell you a bit about gluconeogenesis and my mnemonic would be for the substrates and the products, not for the enzymes because enzymes sometimes take the name of their substrates for their products and that would be a lot of mnemonics then so this one would be the minimum and the maximum that I can do. So when hepatic uh, glycogen stores are depleted, glucose is formed. From non carbohydrate precursors, which requires both mitochondrial and cytosolic enzymes. Now, this process occurs in like um, the liver, so let's switch pens. It occurs in the liver and it's called hepatic gluconeogenesis. And the liver, the carbohydrate, non carbohydrate precursors that the liver uses would be alanine, it's an amino acid. You have lactate, which is very common, and glycerol, which is also very common. Then another organ that uses this process would be the kidneys, the renal gluconeogenesis, and that one uses uh, lactate, glutamine, and glycerol again. And then you can see a small extent of gluconeogenesis in the small intestine, but it's like almost negligible. So there are 10 reactions in this um, process, this pathway, this cycle, seven of which are reversible. So ten, seven reversible and seven of which are not, uh, sorry, three of which are not, three irreversible. Okay, now we're going to start with our process and I'm going to write the enzymes with my black pen and the substrate and the products with my blue pen. So we go with please. Please would be pyruvate. That's our starting substrate. Pyruvate. Then we go to oxaloacetate. Open. Then we go to packets, which would be phospho enol pyruvate. Then we go to 2 phosphoglycerate, which would be our properly. Now, after this, we have another P compound, but because it's the same product, just with a different number, I have written only one P. So you have 3 phosphoglycerate. Okay, then from here we go to um, a 1,3-bis-phosphoglycerate. And that's before. Then we go to giving, which would be glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate. I'm going to write phosphate as just P. Then we go to food, which would be fructose 1, 6, bisphosphate. And I've, I haven't written another F, but it goes to another one, which would be fructose without the 1, just 6, and without the bis, just phosphate. From here, it goes to G, two Gs, so we have glucose, six phosphate, which goes to glucose, which is our final product because gluconeogenesis is glucose production. 
now we are going to go with our enzymes. So pyruvate oxaloacetate would be the name of our substrate. Pyruvate decarboxylase. Decarboxylase. Then oxaloacetate to phosphoenol pyruvate. We have the name of our product. PEP, phosphoenol pyruvate carboxykinase. Then we have 2-phosphoglycerate, but the enzyme has nothing to do with the substrate or the product. We have here inner lace. Then these two, two from 2 to 3, you've got the name phosphoglycerate mutase. Right, from this to this. From 3 to 1, 3 and a bis, you've got same phosphoglycerate kinase. Then you have the same product name, you have glycerol dehyde. Um, sorry, you have glycerol, not the name, you have glycerol at 3 phosphate dehydrogenase. Dehydrogenase. Yeah. Then you go here, you have aldolase. Then you have the name of this one, you have fructose. 1 6 phosphatase. Then from fructose 6 phosphate to glucose 6 phosphate, you have the isomers almost. So you have phospho. Glucoisomerase. And finally, you have the name of your substrate. You have glucose 6 and a phosphatase. There are quite a lot of names and quite a lot of enzymes, but I hope this video helped uh, you in remembering this pathway and what is the purpose of this pathway. So, yeah. My apologies guys, this one all would hold the would carry the name of its product and would be glycerol dehyde. Okay, glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase. So that is our gluconeogenesis right there. I hope it was simple for you. Take care guys.